Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. So I made a video on how to hack your 2DS or 3DS on firmware 11.17 using a second already hacked device and a copy of Mario Kart 7. Many of you were very grateful, or basically all of you were, but some of you were also very skeptical about the part that you had to find an already hacked device for it to work. And I can totally understand that. But fear not, today we're going to jailbreak firmware 11.17 without a second already hacked device. Both this tutorial and my other video will still work, you just need to decide which one you want to follow. Now a quick disclaimer, this guide also requires you to have a copy of Mario Kart 7, so if you haven't got it already, not now it's the time to get it. I will leave an affiliate link in the video description and the amazing part is if you decide to buy Mario Kart 7 through that link you will also support this channel and my upcoming videos. But keep in mind that you need the same region on your Mario Kart 7 copy as the console you try to hack. So if you have a US console you will need to get a US copy of Mario Kart or if you have a Japanese version of the console you will need to get a Japanese version of Mario Kart etc. So big thanks in advance if you decide to use my affiliate link. Now let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to make sure to do is to put your memory card in your 2DS or 3DS at least once. I'm using a 64GB micro SD card and this simple adapter from Samsung. And once you got it out of your device, go ahead and insert it into your computer. Once you insert it in your computer, you should have a folder named Nintendo 3DS that was created automatically when you put it in your 3DS or 2DS for the first time. Go inside the Nintendo 3DS folder and here you should have a folder with a 32 letter name. Copy the name of this folder and put it in a document that you can reference later. This name is console specific and will be different for each console. Once you have that name saved, power on your handheld again. You can leave your SD card in the computer for now. Once booted, click the orange face icon in the top row menu. And if you get an error and get kicked out of the menu, you either have to create a new Mii in the Mii character app or your console cannot connect to Nintendo's servers due to being banned or connection issues. Anyway, once you got that figured out, go inside the friend list again and take a note of the 12 digit friend code under your Mii character. You will need that in a moment. Now go back to your computer. Open up the brute force movable site that I have linked to in the video description. Click on start again. Now enter your console's friend code that we just got without any spaces or dashes into the your friend code field. After that copy the 32 letter name that we got from our Nintendo 3DS folder and paste it into the your ID0 field. Do not attempt to enter the ID0 manually as it's so easy to make a mistake. And once you have put in both your friend code and the 32 letter ID0, click on go and wait for the brute force process to start. After a few seconds the site will prompt you to add a friend to your console. This will not be the same friend code that you see in this video, so go ahead and add the friend code on your computer screen to the friends list on your 2DS or 3DS. And if you're prompted to give your new friend a name, just name it whatever. And once the site processes your information, the site will continue to step 2 automatically. The rest of the process usually takes about 1 to 5 minutes and during this process, the bot you just added may not show up on your 2DS or 3DS, but as long as the site keeps updating, it's not an issue. And once it's finished, click on the big green button to download your movable.sed file and power off your console. For me this process took about 2 minutes. Alright, time for the fun part. Reinsert your SD card into your console and open up Mario Kart 7 either from your cartridge or from your previously bought version from the eShop. Remember that if you didn't buy the game digitally before Nintendo closed down the eShop, you can't buy it from there anymore. Also, this is important, the game must be version 1.2, so update the game to the latest version either from the eShop or by following the update prompt when you try to launch the game. Once the game has started, click on Mario Kart channel at the bottom and if you're prompted to, hit next and OK to all of the prompts you might get. After that, click on Street Pass List at the bottom. Then click your Home button to suspend Mario Kart 7. Disable wireless connections by navigating to the Home menu settings at the top left and switch wireless communications off. 
Then power off your console and insert your micro SD card into your computer again. Back at the computer, head over to the what you need section in the 3DS hacks guide and I have of course a direct link to that section in my video description. Here you can see that we need a Windows computer, the movable.sed file from before and a bunch of files that we get from clicking the links in the list. And I guess you're wondering why you need a Windows computer and that's because the cartminer hack is Windows command files and won't launch correctly on Mac OS or Linux. And once you have downloaded all the files, put them on your computer desktop so they will be easy to find. Back at your desktop, these are the files you should have. Just do as I do here and you should be fine. Start by opening the Luma 3DS zip file and copy the boot.firm and boot.3dsx from the zip file to the root of your SD card. Now create a folder named boot 9 strap on the root of your SD card. Open the boot 9 strap zip file from your desktop and copy the boot 9 strap.firm and boot 9 strap.firm.sha from the zip file to the boot 9 strap folder that you just created. Now copy the safe b9s installer.bin from its zip file to the root of your SD card. When that is done, create a new folder on the root of your SD card named 3ds if it does not already exist. Copy the nimdsfax folder from the nimdsfax zip file to the 3ds folder you just created. Then copy the menuhax67 underscore installer dot 3dsx from the menuhax zip folder to the same 3ds folder. And from the same menu hacks zip folder, locate the correct launcher.dat file depending on if you're hacking an old 2DS and 3DS or a new 3DS. In this guide, I'm hacking an old 2DS and the region is Europe, so that's the launcher.dat file I'm looking for. When you have found your file, copy it to the root of your SD card. And once you have followed my steps, this is how your root should look like. Now keep your SD card in your computer as it's still needed in the next section. Open up the release underscore beta underscore mk7 zip and extract a folder inside it to the desktop of your computer. Copy your movable.sed file to the resources folder inside the release underscore beta underscore mk7 folder. Go back to the root of that folder and go inside the backup folder. Here you need to double click the backup file corresponding to your console's region. Once again, I'm on a EU version, so that's what I'm double clicking. If a new folder appear, you know that the backup was successful. Now go back to the root again and double tap the .bat file here instead, still choosing the one corresponding to your region. And once all that is done, pop out your SD card from your computer and reinsert it into your Nintendo 2DS or 3DS. On your console, open Mario Kart 7 again and tap the Mario Kart 7 channel at the bottom. From here you should tap the street pass list button on the bottom of your screen. And here's where things might get interesting. If the game freezes as it does for me, you get kicked out of the game and the console reboots. If this happens, you actually have to change the console's language in the system settings and retry the exploit again. I was actually quite frustrated before I got this to work and I had to change through a few languages before I got it to work. When I finally tried it with Italian, the exploit went through. Anyway, so if the game doesn't freeze for you when you click the street pass list button, just hit A over and over again until you start the race. And once you do, the bottom screen of your device should flash through a few different colors, and then your device should be booted into the 3DS ROP exploit injector. Press Y plus D-pad down to install MenuHack67. The console will then automatically turn off, turn it back on and tap the small home menu settings icon in the top left of your bottom screen. This time if the exploit was successful you will be greeted with this familiar interface. Click on NIMDS fax in the list and you should now boot into safe b9s installer. When prompted, input the key combo given at the top screen to keep installing the hack. And once that is complete, press A to reboot your console. Your console should now boot into Luma 3DS. And for the purpose of this guide, leave these settings on default. Do not check or uncheck anything. Then press start to save and reboot. At this point, your console will now boot into Luma 3DS by default. 
Luma 3DS does not look any different from the normal home menu. If your console has booted into the home menu, it's running custom firmware now. Alright, there's just two more things we're gonna do. We're gonna remove the menu hack 67 so that we can use the home menu settings icon as intended again, instead of launching into the homebrew channel. Then I will show you how to get the homebrew channel and a few other apps as well as an app on your device instead. So launch the download and play app, wait until you see the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo DS buttons, click the left shoulder button, d-pad down and select at the same time to open the Rosalina menu. From there, scroll down to miscellaneous options and then click switch the HB title to the current app. Press B a few times until you exit the Rosalina menu, then click the home button to suspend download and play, then click close to close the app, relaunch the app and you should now launch into the homebrew launcher instead. From the list, launch the menu hacks 67 installer, select remove menu hacks 67 and when you see done, press A and then exit to menu and you can use the home settings menu again. At this point you can re-enable wireless communications again. And now it's time to fix the homebrew apps and we can call it a day. Pop out your micro SD card and put it back into your computer. From your computer go to the what you need finalizing section that I have linked to in the video description and download the finalizing.zip. You don't need to download the latest release of Luma 3DS as we have already done it. Copy the contents of finalizing.zip which is finalize gm9 and Luma to the root of your SD card merging and replacing any existing folders if prompted. Once done pop out the SD card from your computer for one last time and reinsert it into your 2DS or 3DS and turn off your console if you haven't already done that. With the SD card inserted press and hold start while powering on your console to launch god mode 9. If you're prompted to create an essential files backup, press A to do so and then press A to continue. If you're prompted to fix the RTC date and time, press A to do so and then set the time and then press A to continue. Now press home to bring up the action menu, select scripts and then select finalize. Follow the prompts in the script answering any questions that you are asked. After a while once the script says setup complete, press A to power off your device. Once you power the console back on you will be greeted with some new presents on your home screen containing all the homebrews you need to get going. It's been a pretty long journey but now we have hacked our old 2DS or 3DS using nothing else but a copy of Mario Kart 7. I hope that this video helped you out and that you enjoyed watching it. If you did maybe you might want to give it a like and also give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this from me in the future. Thanks for watching, Tech Cravers out!